Just moments ago, we got a look at these new non-fatal weapons that police officers here in Detroit will have at their disposal. The idea is they could use those weapons in lieu of picking up their gun and using deadly force, if at all possible. Now, in addition to those weapons, they will also get access to some HD body cams. These are all brand new. They come with a rechargeable battery and the ability to upload any video via Wi-Fi, taking the guesswork out of what officers are seeing and encountering there on the scene. All of this is being funded, we're told, through money in the police general fund. This also comes in the wake of two people who were recently shot and killed killed by Detroit police after police officers were responding for a mental health emergency. The new non-fatal weapons include a pepper spray gun and a dense foam bullet launcher. Officers have been trained on both of these non-fatal weapons. You'll hear more about those in just a minute. And Detroit police supervisors will be in possession of these weapons, bringing them to the scene as necessary. Now here's Assistant Chief Ewing explaining how and when the new weapons will be used. The pepper ball spray would allow us to uh, have further range to deal with the individual. I think the, the range up to the pepper ball is up to 100 feet. Uh, we could fire that uh, projectile out and it would emit a 12 foot cloud and try to uh, and, and get the individual to succumb to some of that mist, right? So we can get those individuals into custody. The other one is a more impactful round. It has a round that you would, you would definitely feel the impact of it. Uh, it it's. A little closer. I think the extended of that is 50 feet to be accurate. All of this uh, obviously at the officer's discretion on when they are to use them. Chief of Police says he got this idea uh, months prior to the police involved shooting, and they're actually not unique here in Detroit. They're currently being used in LA and Chicago, so they have a few models to which they could fall back on. And they also said that this does not replace any of the other tactical weapons they have at their disposal. This will just be used in conjunction with. Reporting live in Detroit, Dave Spencer, back to you. Yeah, Dave, you talk to any family member who's lost a loved one because of gunfire in exchange with any police officer in our area, they're going to be kind of waving their hats up and up and down saying, yeah, this is exactly uh, what's needed instead of deadly force. That's right. And, you know, they'll, they'll be bringing these out on the scene and they'll be making a judgment call on the scene. Uh, so it also will also be playing out in real time. We're also told that they've been trained extensively how and when to use them and they'll be put into practical use here relatively soon. All right, Dave Spencer for us live. Thank you.